this is the Mark II kitchen box. So, um, basically it's got a, a, quite a big lid. Strong enough to sit on if you wanted to. It's got quite a strong lid, um, which covers everything. It'll also go two ways up. So, fit on there, and that gives me quite a big baffle, so it gives me a, a surface to put stuff on when I'm sailing. <coughs> this is the box the main box. It's going to have a handle, don't know whether just to make a hole or a knob or a piece of string. So this is a piano hinge. Um, you can see that the transier fits in here. Uh, mug. Well, that's the way it should be. There's a whiskey bottle there, but it could be a thermos. Um, jar of coffee there and uh, a mug there for during the day. In the evening I'll have the whiskey bottle. Um, glass of olives and uh, the whiskey glass or a wine bottle or two wine glasses if it's dual. <coughs> um, down below we have the only things that I ever eat with which are frying pan very seldom used but this uh, I, it's an old saucepan and I really don't cook food in it apart from toast I use it for toast you can toast bagels pretty successfully in a whole saucepan. Looks disgusting, sometimes it looks okay, but you wouldn't want to cook food in it. But you do use it to cook food. Uh, and the bottom bit is, it, so this is the main bit of the kitchen, you can see it's a separate thing. Underneath it is this one, which is the one that I take backwards and forwards each time. So this I basically fill up with, I keep everything in jam jars if I can. So there's coffee in a jam jar, tea in a jam jar, marmalade in a jam jar, pickle in a jam jar. Rather than, so you wind up with, you know, it's easier to work your way around, they're all the same thing. There you go, cutlery here. There it is. So, um, there it is in place. Take this off. Sometimes put it down there, which just gives me a little work surface. Put a handle in. Yeah, this needs a chain, otherwise that is going to break. I mean, the piano hinges are great, but um, they will break. So. This is a really good working surface when you're underway, you want to put binoculars and stuff on it. The trouble is, you know, it's, it, it blocks this space off here, really kills that space. But you just have to put stuff there that you're not going to need every day. All these shapes were made, you can see that's a little half round, that's a bit of door architrave, and inside is uh, another bit of architrave. There are also bits that are called door stops, which are really cheap that you can use. You can just buy it by the yard. And the rest is exterior grade ply. Um, I would say that it probably cost me uh, 50 quid worth of materials, maybe more, maybe 80 quid worth of materials. But there we have it, Mark II kitchen box. This doesn't quite work. Um, I thought it'd be lower somehow, I don't really know. It's fine there. I hadn't allowed for the thickness of the lid. So really this is marginal. Could just do with the Mark III could be just a little bit lower down here I think and a little bit lower down here. Just make it all just a little bit smaller.